Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica and today I'm going to show you how I make bagels at home. I have a recipe of New York City bagels that's been really great for me for many years. My kids love it too. The best part about this recipe is that it's super simple. You don't need a lot of ingredients. It's only a couple of them and I'm going to leave in the description the full recipe for you and you will see for yourself that it's so simple and then you can choose the toppings the way you like it. The first thing you're going to do is to get a cup of warm water, it can be tap water, and then you need to add the yeast into the tap water, as well as a couple of spoons of sugar. And let it sit for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, you will see the foam building up on top of the liquid. This is how you know that the yeast that you used is fresh and it's ready to work for you to make these great bagels. I usually use the regular flour. You do not need to go into the extreme and buy any special flour. You can use just the regular flour that I use. I buy my flour at Giant or any other grocery store. I also add some kosher salt to it to make sure the dough has a little bit of saltiness to it. And I stir it up. If you don't have a mixer at home, you can always use a hand mixer or you can stir it with your own hands. The next thing I do is I take a bowl and I put a little bit of vegetable oil in it. The vegetable oil that I use inside of the bowl is needed when I put the dough inside of the bowl and in the refrigerator it's going to raise up. I want to make sure that the dough does not stick to the sides of the bowl. Then I pour out the dough and make it smooth. You can cover it with a cling wrap and just leave a little bit of space and room in there so when the dough rises it's not, not going to be over the top. And then you put it in the refrigerator overnight. Put the dough in the refrigerator at night around 9 or 10 o'clock in the evening and in the morning at 6 or 7 o'clock everything is ready and when you poke the dough you can see that it's already risen enough and when you poke it it doesn't come back that's how you know the dough is ready i put the dough and i start kneading it again and make an, a baguette shape so that i can cut it up later Now I try to cut it up in equal parts to make the bagels. I can make maybe six or seven bagels depending on the size that you like. Then I make a hole with my finger inside of each bowl and I roll it so it looks like a bagel in the shape of the bagel and I make it for all of them like that. You can make them without the hole, you can make them round, you can make them small or you can make them bigger. It's really up to you. You can cover them with the towel when you make them. Then the next thing you do is you need to make sure you boil some water. I'm also going to turn the oven on, bake for 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you boil the bagels in the hot water for a little bit to make sure that the bagels are chewy. As you know, the best bagels are usually chewy inside and crunchy on the outside. And this is the effect that you're trying to make with the bagels. When you boil the bagels in the water, in the hot boiling water prior to putting it in the stove, that's what makes them really chewy. You can use any kind of seasoning for the bagels. You can put cheese on it, you can put popper seed, you can put everything bagel. You can put raisins or blueberries inside of the bagel, but what you do with the berries or raisins, you don't put it at the end. Remember the step when you were adding salt to the flour? That's the time when you're going to add raisins or any kind of berries to the bagels. You set the clock for 20 to 25 minutes to bake the bagels in the oven. Once they're ready, you, you take them out and let them cool off a little bit before you start cutting them or serving them. My kids like plain bagels, that's why most of the bagels I make are pretty plain. And if I don't use them all at once, 
I usually freeze them, putting them in the foil and put it in the freezer and they last for a very long time. As you can see, the bagels are very chewy. If you want to make them more crunchy, you can put them in the toaster or in the toaster oven. But my kids love them chewy and that's why I keep them usually chewy. Thank you so much for watching my video till the end. Please put thumbs up if you liked the recipe. Please leave me comments below if you tried and you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the new episodes of Happy Lady One-on-One. -on -one. Take care.